Team Jackson, what's happening? So, um, I told you guys recently that I went to an event where we had a great Q&A and a and a young lady stood up and asked, like, why is it that so many guys these days expect you to chase them? Ain't we supposed to be the ones that's the prize? And let me say this, you know, when we're talking about chasing, I don't think anybody should chase anybody. Usually if somebody's chasing, somebody else is trying to get away. But I get what she was meaning. Why is it that these guys these days, as opposed to older generations, don't want to put in the work, don't want to set the tone, don't want to initiate and plan the dates, don't want to make the first moves, so on and so forth. But they enjoy it whenever a woman does it. Um, and I think that a lot of the frustration she had and a lot of women in that room had comes from a place of not having the proper perspective because with the proper perspective, you would not be frustrated at all. So the proper perspective says that there are a few reasons why a guy would expect a woman to chase him. The first one, and I say first one, really, they can go in any order. Um, but best case scenario, he's just one of those insecure guys that needs to feel secure in his role in a woman's life by way of her efforts. Meaning she's the one that's doing this, that, and the other, going over the moon. Otherwise, he doesn't feel very attractive to her. He doesn't feel very desired. He doesn't feel like, you know, his position in her life is stable. If she's not the one planning the, the dates, if she's not the one starting the conversations, texting him first, if she's not the one asking for his number, that type of thing, just straight insecurity, right? Again, best case scenario, I don't think happens the most often, but whatever. Another reason why a guy may want a woman to chase him is because, like I said in my IG story, there's two types of guys in this world. There's the one who is commitment minded, and then there's the one that is convenience minded. Now, when we talk about commitment, we're talking about work. We're talking about putting in work for something that you want, something that you value, not being afraid to show that and do what you can to set a foundation so you can have it over the long term. When we're talking about convenience, we're talking about getting what you want, but with the absolute least investment and effort on your part. Now, in this day and age, let's also cover the other side of the coin. The dating pool is full of women who are cool with that. Full of women who are emotionally thirsty and want that validation and want just any man to say they got a man. Now, are they the cause of a man's laziness in this particular area? Absolutely not, but they're absolutely enablers. And so much so that they, they're, they're so common that you have a lot of these guys who are convenience minded that have made that type of woman their type. Now, the third reason why a guy will leave you to chase him is because not that he won't chase you, but he will chase just an aspect of you while leaving you to chase all the other things that would go into a healthy relationship if that's what you want. Leaves you to chase the conversation, leaves you to chase the quality time, leaves you to chase the thoughtful gestures, the commitment, the label, all of that, meeting his family, all of that stuff. And he will chase the one aspect of you that he wants, like say for instance, your money, maybe a place to stay, maybe you making him look good in front of his boys, maybe the pussy, whatever. He'll chase that like the lion and gazelle. Like he will chase an aspect of you while leaving you to chase everything else. Now, lastly, is a guy who's simply narcissistic. And I know we throw that word around quite a bit, but I want to be contextual, you know, just so I'm not another person saying narcissistic to describe a guy that you don't like or that's undesirable. This one in particular is absolutely narcissistic to the T. And I'm talking about the guy who wants you to chase him because he feels like that's what he deserves because he's so awesome. Not sh only should you chase him, you also should worship the ground that he walks on. I'm talking about like, just because you are able to be in the presence of all his greatness, how dare you not put on your track shoes? That type of guy. Now, with all that being said, let me be very clear. Not every guy is like that. I see guys every single day that are not afraid to put in work for that woman that they want. And I also see that there are things that women do in order to be more attractive to those guys. From the first conversation to sending signals that they're attracted to that guy and that they're open and available for conversation, the whole list of things. I actually put it all in detail in my book, Don't Forget Your Crown, at the link in the caption, and it's 50% off right now if you wanna know more about that. But the moral of the story is this. Whenever you meet a guy who is leaving you to chase him, don't be frustrated. Replace that frustration with appreciation that he's showing you exactly who he is and how much different that is from the type of man that you deserve. Be thankful. He just saved you a whole lot of wasted time on down the road. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. And again, don't forget your crown is at the link in the caption at 50% off. Holla at y'all later. Peace.